You had had a message from the Customs Brigades on your phone. Now, this is unfathomable. Yeah. You have relatives being held hostage, and what do you get on your phone, and how do you know where it's emanating from? So, it started as a text message saying, hi, this is El Qassam, and we are messaging you about Carmel Gat. They actually mentioned the name of our of my hostage and we offered your government an agreement uh, and they, they just, uh, they didn't want it. So now we we keep Carmel uh, with us. I'm gonna so, stop you there. Yeah. What are you feeling at that moment when well, you look at your phone and you see a message from yeah. the customs brigade? Yeah, so the first thing I said, oh, whoa, I, I can't believe this is, this is real information about Carmel. And then a few seconds passed and I understood this is psychological terror at its lowest level. It doesn't really mean anything. It didn't contain any in any real information. This is just this just goes to show you how they touch the most fragile, um, the most the weakest links in the Israeli society in order to just raise chaos within the within us. And I think it's their way of trying to ruin the Israel society and we prove that we are much, much stronger than that because we came together and we don't buy into this psychological terror and these lies of Hamas. And we try to be to, to be stronger together and I think we, we succeed in this. Even as we see these pictures, as we just get the, the fact that we are so happy to see people coming home and just meeting their, their parents or their loved ones, I think this is now understandable that we're not going to stop until, you know, there's a... Uh, there's a table with 240 seats in the in the hostages square in Tel Aviv until all these seats are filled with 240 hostages that came back and are now in Israel we're not going to stop and we're going to be in this together until the very very end and we we really hope that this end is near